Okay, living on the cheap is also eating on the cheap. And I'm trying something that I haven't had since I was a kid. And it's probably the most unhealthy thing you could possibly ever eat. But if you know, you know, this is a spam product. And my mom and my grandmother used to fry it. So I thought I would try it and see how it tastes. Uh, like I said, it's probably the most unhealthy product you can buy. This is actually, it's not even the Spam brand. I got it at Aldi. Let me get the can out of the trash and see. Yeah, it's this. Brookdale Luncheon Meat. Let's look at the ingredients. So pork, salt, water, sugar, sodium nitrate. I don't know. I wish that it has so much sodium in it. Only one carb, one gram of sugar, seven grams of protein. So other than the sodium content and the, I guess, sodium nitrate, which is a preservative, I don't know if it's I'm gonna to have to look it up and see how bad it actually is for you. But if you're hungry and you don't have a lot of money and you need protein, this does give you seven grams of protein. And I don't know that I could eat it raw. Like it says it's already cooked, but I don't know that I could eat it like that. But frying it might not be too bad. So I'm going to see I'll let you know how it tastes. But I did eat it when I was growing up. Like, my grandmother lived to be like 90. So, let's hope that it's not that bad. Okay, bye. Okay, an update on the Spam meat product that I was cooking. Um, yeah, it in my opinion is not a good option it is way too salty and way uh, too much processed meat to be healthy I did look it up and it's not good for your heart obviously because of the, the amount of salt and um, I'm sure it's not good for other parts of your body as well so yeah I made like fried egg sandwiches and, and the fried spam and I can only eat half of a sandwich half of a half of because it was just so salty, I couldn't do it. So um, I think my advice would be if you're food insecure and you're trying to save money or you don't have lots of money, um, whatever the situation is, and you're trying to pump up your um, protein intake, you'd be better off to use the money that you have and purchase something like peanut butter or beans and, or lentils or something that's gonna be more healthy for your body. Um, and here's the situation. If you are food insecure, there are food banks that um, each town, city have that you can contact them and you could uh, get the help that you need. Don't ever feel embarrassed or, um, you know, just upset that you have to do that because it's a shame that this country has so many food insecure people. But the reality is that there are and you should never ever be hungry or feel hungry so contact your local churches um, even poli local police departments um, you know or just Google a food bank in your area and go and get the food that you need um, because it's sad but true that there are way more people that are food insecure than, than you care to know about so if you don't want to do that and you do want to, you do have some money and you do want to you know spend it wisely i would spend it on like i said something natural like peanut butter beans um get a can of chickpeas and make hummus and make sandwiches out of out of that we don't really use much processed meat um we don't even use a lot of lunch meat trying to get away from that and so when we do make sandwiches we're doing things like 
peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter or tuna fish or um, egg salad, something like that, um, because you don't need to have the meat to, to make a sandwich and you don't need to have meat to provide your body with um, protein. Again, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor, but these are just things that I've learned and when trying to cut back on expenses, they're, those are some of the things that I've learned as well. Stay away from the potted meat, stay away from the spam, um, not a good option and I couldn't even eat the whole sandwich. So, I mean, I grew up with it though. I grew up with my mom feeding it to my dad, like he would take spam sandwiches to work. Um, I know my grandmother would fry it up and eat it like bacon. Um, so yeah, it's been around for a long time, but it may be processed differently than it was back then. So um, yeah, so that's my advice um, on the canned meat spam product uh, not worth the health risk to eat something like that. Okay, bye.